What's up guys? Um, two things when I start this video. One, please don't send me a friend request without a message attached. I get those every day and I can't accept friend or random friend requests without a message attached because my friends list is full so I need to pick and choose who I can accept. Also, um, if you have a specific request for a film, please understand that I try to fill, fulfill those but I also go by majority and by demand as well as what I get. If I veto a game type, I'm going to get a different game type and map. So sometimes your map combination with the game type that you want is hard to get because if I veto, I may never get it. Like, I'll always veto Assault Rifles. Now I'm playing the Pit Slayer VRs and Lone Wolves uh, off host, actually. Most of my games have been on host. This game is off host. And you'll see me prove that later. I'll explain how. Now, the beginning of this match is very slow. As you can see, I've just been sitting in green with rocks. This is actually the best spot to be with rockets, assuming no one sees you, otherwise you're gonna get fragged. And I got out yard there, even though I thought I had full shields, but doesn't matter. Green's a good spot because rockets are only effective if you can hit the person directly or hit the wall behind them. And this map's very open unless you're in sword on S2 or in green. So green's a good spot if you have rocks. Nice little steal for a double kill. Getting shot from I believe green green box or from second. I'm gonna run away to Mauler. I really like this map for lone wolves, especially with VRs though. It's a great map. It's very balanced in my opinion, surprisingly, and it's a lot of fun to play. If you wanna win this map, you need to make sure you get a power weapon. There's three power weapons. Well, five if you include the shotguns. And so you want to get them on this map. And then play smart with them. If you have sniper, don't stay S2 the entire time. People know you're going to be there. It's such an obvious spot. So if you stay there, get a few kills, and then get out of there. People are going to frag you. People are going to shoot you across the map. If there's another guy in the other S2, he's going to snipe you. So sit on S2, get a few kills, get the regen, and then get out of there as soon as possible. If you snipe the same person more than once, he's going to get really angry and he's going to chase you and someone else might see him chasing you and then, you know, more players are going to come after you. The thing you need to remember on this map is the snipers seem to spawn a lot faster and that's actually true, it's actually a two minute spawn time. I thought I was going to die because, I don't know, I just did so I dropped a grenade as opposed to shoot going for the headshot, especially since it wasn't my host. Now this is a ten minute uh, time limit in the start so I knew OV was going to be up around six something because it's a three minute spawn time plus or minus well actually plus 20 seconds or hopefully less time for someone to pick it up from the start. The VR is very sloppy here. Kill the sniper. Now as opposed to going to S2 since he might have killed someone and he's actually coming back after me I'm just gonna grab a sniper get out of there and go to sword. And right here, I'm changing my sensitivity. And this game, I started off 7, and I went back down to 6. Lately, I've been playing on 6. Now, if you have Sniper, Sword is a really, really good spot. And right there, the camera... I could not see the camera move, so that means it's not my host. Only the host can see the camera move. That's one way to tell on this map. The overall way to tell... If a person has host, well really if you have host is if you kill someone and their body just drops straight down, like it just falls down like a sack of potatoes. But as I was saying, this is a really good spot in sword. The main trick though, to prevent too much attention coming from you, is you want to shoot just one or two shots and then hide. Because if one person sees you, 
he's gonna come after you and someone else might see him and then a whole bunch of people are gonna run to sword and you have no chance of surviving there's a drainer but grenades spawn on the outside sword there's maulers there people are gonna bring maybe a shotgun so it's not a good spot to draw a lot of attention but it's a really good spot to snipe from and it's actually my favorite spot on this map even if you don't have a sniper actually you can have a BR and you can steal a lot of kills people usually run across flat to S2 to kill the guy up there and you can steal the kill there or you can see someone at second BR green box or down long haul it's a great way to steal kills I shot the barrel because you know sometimes someone's hiding in green he's weak or he's running from one side of the green to the other so that's why I blew up the barrels so as you can see I got shot from two different people I clutched it out and staying alive I know for a fact they're gonna come after me and I'm out of snipe because I've been using snipe a good bit so I'm just gonna get out of here and I just had a feeling there was a guy at S1 usually people are gonna go snipe tower to check the new snipers up so now I'm gonna stay on S2 and this is a really good spot you can look through this little box here and shoot through plat and the person charging plat will not see you and that was some very odd lag I have not seen that before I'm looking down because I'm expecting this guy to rush me so I was gonna throw a grenade like bounce it off the little corner he actually goes to sword I'm gonna let him be there throw another grenade to suppress him so I don't have to worry about him for a second And you notice I'm going back to sword. When you switch it up like this, you can really confuse and piss people off. And the more frustrated people are, the more likely they will rush. They won't think uh, very well. And so you can use that to your advantage. Right now I'm just kind of waiting it out. I'm on a spree right now and I'm trying to stay alive. So I'm not being too aggressive. And in my experience playing this map in Lone Wolves, which is probably a few hundred games now specifically on this map you can't be too aggressive because it, it's a this map has a l combination of wide open spaces the only places of cover would be green box snipe tower or towers and then sword and then maybe shotgun When you're on S2, do not zoom in too long because people can spawn S1 or sword or runway and they can come up to you and kill you. So you gotta be careful of that. Right now I'm not finding anyone, but I'm just quickly looking around the map, checking my corners. And this guy, in my opinion, did a smart thing, but not a very good thing. I think he might have spawned objective and then crouch walk. It didn't really help him because he's losing. Maybe he just did that just to end my spree, I'm not sure, but... Crouch walking that distance can hurt you because your kill can be stolen. Especially since he was using an AR. I chose with my shot. I shot the barrels because usually the barrels and invis are together because they're both 3 minute spawn time and usually people blow them up or get killed by them, so that's why I blew them up. I backed away. I thought someone else was shooting him. Someone actually did, of course, because my kill was stolen, so I backed away. One minute remaining. He had a nice kill. Short lifting. To do that, you just crouch rapidly as you enter the lift. Brute shot, by the way, is a really good weapon to pick up on, if you're on S2 because people are going to switch to their ARs and rush you and you can usually trade kills or actually slay them. Well guys I hope you enjoyed this gameplay. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.